I went viral for the first time. Woo! What was, was that for? With the 1090 Jake shit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot yeah, of those shit going on. So okay, okay. What's your thoughts about, because uh, I don't think you talked about it yet. So for the people who ain't seen what's going on and shit, because I've yeah. been posting a lot of shit on No Jumper and shit, and a lot of people send me shit. And niggas sent me the paperwork on 1090. You know, the grievance, the paperwork, whatever whatever everybody want to call it. So I was oh, the yeah, first person to actually. Originated. Yeah, oh, I oh, popped oh, it off. Oh, yeah, so oh, niggas yeah. be saying, niggas can't say read yeah. be biased because they be yeah. seeing me. Me yeah, and 1090 call, yeah, we talk yeah, all the time. Yeah, so yeah. But when Didn't I got Didn't I say you were bootlegging 1090, Jake? Bootlicking? Yeah, I don't know what. They be saying all type of shit. But <laughs> Top me dancing yeah, for him or something? Nah, they... <laughs> 1090 sent me that's a lot of shit. Boy. That's you my rocked boy. Out with him. But to keep on it, he when keeps him a cold that's white boy. That's my people too. I keep. But when the paperwork came, I was the first to post it, so nobody could really just say, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. being biased. But yeah. with that being up. said, yeah, agent. What's what y'all thoughts about uh, the grievance that he wrote? Like, I mean, up? okay, give me your perspective from being locked up for a long ass time. Is it is it appropriate to file a grievance about another pri prisoner? And I don't want to be mischaracterizing, so let me know if I'm describing it wrong. But basically, he got into uh, a situation with another prisoner, right? And he like filled out a form while he was locked up, saying it, this person did this to me. No, is that accurate? No, this is what happened. Okay. Can I get a parliament? So what happened? <laughs> so what happened is <laughs> 1090, 1090, nerve, they outside, they they in the day room, wherever they at, or he was on the bunk or whatever the case is. A nigga come in and hit him with a lock of the sock. Boom. He get back off. I don't know if he hit him with a brick of rock, whatever he say, he hit him back. Up. So when the paperwork was written up and he went to confinement when he goes to the hole the paperwork was written up against 1090 jake if he was in mm. court the lawyer would have been writing this the the paperwork was written up against 1090 jake i wouldn't have said people's names uh let me just go into it uh the paperwork was written up against 1090 jake saying that he was the assaulter that he was in there he and started he, it. he started it right. he really did was self-defense and that's why i said it's a wobbler every time a self-defense case is presented because you have to tell your side of the story so if they're telling you that you're the one that hit this dude that did all of this no i was defending myself because this dude came inside the cell with a lock and a sock you giving me a assault case that i could actually go to co court for and get more time. So if he was on the streets and caught this case, the lawyer would have been presenting this paperwork like my client is the victim in this case, and these dudes assaulted him, and he reacted violent also, which is not appropriate, but that was the only way he could defend himself at that time. Mm. So basically he was writing like they came in the shit and hit me with it. Me, I would have been like a... Hey, I don't know. I would have just been like, that's when the two inmates came after me. I was not putting their whole names and all that shit in that motherfucker. But either way it go, it's you because you're going up against the board, and that's like going against the judge. So he's writing his grievance to the board to explain his situation. I wouldn't have put no names in my grievance. Mm. I'd have been like, I don't know, I uh, inmate hit me with a lock of the side. I, 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 I yeah, didn't see yeah. the inmate. I just I don't know him. I they just got to fight with him, whatever the case was, but I yeah. definitely wasn't the one that threw the first blow. Da -da 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 -da. You get what I'm saying? So but either way it go, like niggas in jail be filling out grievance forms when they're going up against the board, like inside the hole when you're going to go get your time for them. So you're trying to get less time. So if you had a lawyer, he'll be trying to get you less time. You get what I'm saying? You're going up against the jail judicial system. So, mm -hmm. it, you know what I mean? So you're saying basically a grievance really ain't snitching? Certain grievances is. That's dropping the kite on the nigga because you could drop yeah. the kite like, hey, Wooty Woo just whooped my ass last night and he got a knife in the cell. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's yeah. snitching on the grievance and mm -hmm. then they turn it in. You get what I'm saying? They turn mm -hmm. it in. The cops never filed it. You know what I'm saying? That's called dropping a kite on the nigga. To me, it comes off thirsty. Like people are, are combing through his fucking jail records trying to find anything they can to just say that 1090's fucked up. I mean, it's I don't know. The yard He's count in, though. too, though. Hello? It's a wobbler, though. It's a wobbler. That's just we, like we don't Trey say that Ed. enough anymore. What happened to wobbler? <laughs> I think it left with the other. Baby saying it. I, think I feel they, like they stopped they saying it. 
They might have. All right, bro. It's a wobble. That's right. crazy. I didn't even know that they said it. That we got to keep wobbling our lives. When it comes to when it comes to like a borderline snitch case, I call it a wobbler. Like, cause mm-hmm. it's like, ah, uh, did he snitch? Like, you know what I mean? Like, gun is a wobbler. Did 1090 like accept that he thought that what he did was in any way wrong, or was he just 100 percent defending it? I right, only so seen a little he, chunk of it. He said that uh, people write grievances all the time, so he's saying it ain't snitching and shit. But he says he do regret writing that grievance because he said mm-hmm. nothing actually came from it. He still actually did his 120 days in confinement, so it was a pointless grievance. But Interesting. Yeah, like, it's mixed feelings because, you know, everybody been hitting me up since I think I cracked it off and shit. People saying, some people saying he shouldn't have name drop in the grievance and shit. But That's then I didn't, Lil Reese texted me and like right after we got off live and he said that people write grievances all the time. Mm. Just depends on what you say in the grievance. Right. And then Tay Savage called me. He said that he, his thoughts on it was he said that it's really technically not snitching because people write grievances all the time. But since it's 1090 Jake, mm. he need to be squeaky clean because he the nigga that's always exposing people and exactly. shit. Well, this so, was like a million years ago, way before he was known for anything. So. But that, he exposed people the, for the same yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's like, it's only fair. Yeah. So it, it, basically it's just, you know, people just going to be on 1090 ass because like, mm. if anybody that's exposing shit, you should be squeaky clean. Right. When it comes to this type of shit. Yeah. Yes. You know, that shit was bound to happen. You yeah, know, yeah, this yeah. shit coming. It come with the territory that he play in. And to be fair, he, he, did, a he, he did a video on it like that. three, four years ago. So he did, he did talking about this exact talking thing. Talking about this yeah, shit. Talking about so it wasn't like yeah. he was hiding from the situation or yeah. nothing. Like, but he, like, he liked the, 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 probably the most snitching this shit I've ever did. Like, the closest shit to snitching. Was filling he out a grievance? Like, yeah, that's like... Nigga, you did it too? No, him. No, oh. that's no, basically that's what he, he said he did. I've never felt out a grievance with oh, somebody man. else's name on it. My that grievance, goes against that, the code? Hell yeah. Hmm. But like, in all my dorms, I damn near run the dorms. So it's like, we got to read the motherfuckers before you put it in the box anyway. Really? You so you can't yeah. just fill out a grievance? Hell no. Nah. In the hole you can't because you're in a cell by yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah, wait for him to come get it and take it to the yeah, corporate. Slide it up under, yeah. And take it up top. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know I mean, but like at dorm settings and shit like that, like, or anywhere, it, you got to give the kite to the, to the black right grievances or for whatever. Socks, underwear, all that. All man, that, man, that nigga. Read you need extra whatever, nigga. Yeah. Grievance. You know who said yeah. something on the podcast the other day? It's not out yet, but I thought it was a pretty good metaphor for how I feel about this situation as we were talking to Nolan McCairo about somebody that he's uh, close with who was allegedly snitching at a certain point. I think the person's dead. But oh, shit, Mad Max. And he, he gave this example, and you tell me if this is fucked up logic to use. If you're a guy, you, you're from the neighborhood, and your sister's a hoe, your sister fucking everybody, and people talking about it on the block, they're talking about, oh, so your sister's a hoe, yada, yada. You could spend your whole life fighting people, defending her honor, saying, no, she ain't a hoe, yada, yada, yada. Or at a certain point, you could say, all right, she a hoe, whatever, like, it ain't my fucking problem. Like, at a certain point, I'm not going to be the one going around t- telling the whole neighborhood she's a hoe. But if it seems to be the case, all right, I got to sit back. And, like, y'all can talk about it. I'm not going to jump out the window trying to defend whatever. For me, 1090, I love this guy so much that I'm not ever going to be the one who's like, oh, yeah, he's no good. Like, look what he did or whatever. So if other people are going to say it, it is what it is. But for me, I find it very difficult to talk down to 1090. I feel too much solidarity with him because of the fact that he represents – Boston area, so even if, if even if he got caught with his fucking pants down, I can't I can't be the one passing judgment on ten ninety. So that's from my perspective, now is that is that fucked up for me to say that? Nah, I mean you not a, you're not a part <laughs> of the gang culture or the street culture. That's your old boy. True. 